Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be showing you how to make those little, uh, the little, I showed these on Saturday, the little gifts that I'm making for my coworkers and neighbors and things. Anyway, they're super cute. They're the little pot holders with uh, a utensil and a cookie uh, mix and a couple of packets of hot chocolate in them. There's the blue one. And then I have red ones and they all have a different like little Christmas thing on them. This one says believe and this one says glory to the newborn king and I have all kinds of different ones. But what I'm going to tell you that you need, these are all dollar store items. And so let me get my things and I'll be right back. Okay, I got uh, a bunch of those pot holders and I got the blue and red. And then when I went back because I wanted to make some more because I also want to have some for a giveaway. They had the blue and they also had gray. I think the gray is fine. It'll turn out just right. But I think I'll make uh, a blue one for you guys today. And then also at the Dollar Tree, they have these cute little Betty Crocker whisks and the little spatulas. So I got a bunch of those. So each gift is two pot holders decorated with a cookie mix also from the Dollar Tree. And they had sugar cookie, I think chocolate chip, and gingerbread, which is super fun. And then I went to, you can buy in bulk, you know, the, the hot chocolate. So each gets two. So that's kind of fun. So that's what you need to get from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to be using my little Cricut Joy. If you're interested in Cricut, if you don't have one and you want to get one, down in my link, I have in my Amazon store, I have the maker which is the big machine that i have i have that downstairs but it's kind of cold downstairs and i like to sit up here and these are a smaller project so i use my cricut joy this is my cute little cricut joy i love it and i love that because the reason i got that one is so that i can take it when we go camping because it's small and it's compact and it has a bunch of other little things like the little um the little cricut thing that you iron on which you'll see me use and they have a miniature version of that too and it all goes in one bag for easy carrying. So I need that. I'm going to use my Cricut Joy, but you can use any Cricut. And this is the glitter iron-on. And I like this because it's a white, but it's a little sparkly. So it kind of looks frosty. And I think that that's kind of um, Christmassy. And I'm also going to be using the smaller mat because this goes with my Cricut Joy. If you've got a bigger Cricut, you'll just use the bigger mat. So I'm going to get my things together. And then I will come back to you. I'm going to cut a piece of this that will fit on the mat and have everything ready. And then I'll show you how I choose my design. Okay, so what I've done is on these little hot pads, I measured the distance that you have in this front area. So I measured that and it's basically six by six. So I cut my little piece of iron on. And I want it, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a piece, um, uh, a little saying in the middle. So I'm going to have that right there. And I cut that piece so that it fits there. Some people will measure it exactly and all that kind of stuff, but I don't. But here is my little mat. And this iron-on, you can see there's a super shiny side. And then there's a matte side. This is actually the iron-on. This is just the coating on the front that you iron. It's kind of like a, this is what you're going to actually iron across this it's kind of like a an ironing pad um, but this is what's going to stick to the fabric so I'm just going to stick that right here on my little mat I'm going to use my little scraper and get it nice and flat with all the bubbles out and now that that's ready I'll show you how I choose my design and how I get that set up all right so this mat is six by four about four and a half so I cut that Four and a half wide. It's almost six inches long. It doesn't need to be that long because this isn't going to be that big. So now I've got my little tablet and I've got my Cricut Design Space on there. And if you get a Cricut, you get like a month free. After that, you can be a member of Design Space and where you have access to all the things. Or if you're not, you can still use uh, get files for these designs um, online through Etsy, through Facebook groups, that kind of stuff. And if you're interested in that, I can go into more detail. But for here, we're just going to go to um, image. I'm going to find an image. And I'm going to go to occasions and holidays. And I will pick, um, let me see, holidays. I'm going to go to Christmas. 
So, and you can do this for birthdays, all kinds of stuff. And then these are all images. So I'm going to go down and find one that I like. Maybe, um, that's kind of cute. How about ugly sweater weather? I can do that one. So I'm going to pick that. And it goes down here on this little, this is for the, um, the app. Like if you're using your phone, your tablet, or your, um, um, yeah, your phone or your tablet. If you use your computer, it's a different little bit of a look. But um, but this is how I like to do it with just this tablet. So now I'm going to insert that. Now that's going to come up. There it is. And you can see across here is a measurement. So I know that this needs to be at least not six inches. It needs to be a little bit smaller. So I can move that. I'm going to make this like four by almost five. Now with this one, you can see there's different colors on there. What I want to do is go down to edit and I want to do cut and I want to hit that and hit just black and then now it's going to cut all of that out. If you have the different colors it's going to want you to put different colored um, vinyls in there. We don't want to worry about that. Here is what you need to remember. If you're using your desktop you'll need to do a mirror image because this basically cuts upside down. So you need to do a mirror image, but if you're using your app, that's why I pointed out it's an app, you touch this little horizontal button right there, boom, and see it turns it mirror image. So that's it. Now what I'm going to do is hit, there's all kinds of different things that you can do down here, but this is just the basics. So now I'm going to just hit make it, and it's going to come over here, and it's going to ask me if I'm using it with the joy, if I'm using it with a mat or without a mat because Cricut has materials, vinyls, that can go in there without the requirement of a mat. But I'm using regular vinyl, so I'll have it on a mat. So I'm going to touch on a mat. Now it's going to lay out on the mat how it wants to cut it. So basically it's going to cut it out like that, in that, in that um, style. So now what I'm going to do, before I hit continue, I'm going to turn you around so that you can face. Okay, we're ready to go. And I want to point out, when you use the um, app, and you do that little horizontal flip, sometimes it doesn't flip. So what you can do is look up here at mirror. It'll say mirror off. If you click on that, you can come down here, mirror on or mirror off. So if you see if it's off, that's it looks correct. If you put it on, then you can see that that's backwards. And that's the way it needs to be when you cut any iron on. So now I'm going to continue. It needs to connect via Bluetooth to my Joy. This is how the Joy works. It's the only way the Joy works is by hooking up with Bluetooth to your phone or your tablet. Now I need to tell it what material I'm using. And I am using a an iron-on, but I'm actually using a glitter iron-on, which makes it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to put in here iron-on. I'm just going to click iron there it is, and it's going to say glitter iron-on, so I'm going to choose that. And now it knows that I'm using a glitter iron-on. It's also upside down or mirror image. And so now it wants me to load it. So I'm going to load it. It's going to grab that and pull it in. Oops. Actually, I'm going to have to pause this because I put the shorter end in. I'm going to unload I'm going to turn it around. See how this one was not up at that white that white uh, line right there? It needs to be at the very top. So I'm going to re-put it in there. It's going to pull it in. It's going to be happy. And now it's measuring the length of the material so that it knows it's got enough material to cut the design properly. It's preparing. It's ready to go. I can hit go. And it's going to start. It's still preparing. It's de detecting the tool, initializing, and now it's starting to cut. So see how it's it's cutting away at the little design. So I'm going to let that cut. That'll probably take maybe two minutes, and then I'll be back with you. All right, it has pushed the mat out that far because it's done, and it wants me to hit unload. So I'm going to hit unload, and then there we go. Come on, unload. Okay. There we go. My, there it comes. There's my unload. Now it's coming out. And now I'm done with this. I could just hit finish or I can, and if I hit finish, I could go back and do another one right away. 
But now I want to take this off and you can see where it's been uh, where it's been cut. So now I want to take this off the mat. Um, you want to try to take the mat off of the piece. There we go. And now these mats come with a little protective uh, sheet and you always want to put that back on there because you don't want to get little bits of things on there and it makes it bumpy when you go to do your vinyl. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to uh, weed this, it's called weeding it, where you weed it down to where you get just the designs. And sometimes it's a good idea, you want to weed out everything that's black on there. So um, you can see where you're going to weed. So you don't accidentally weed off part of the design that you want to keep. So I've got this little weeding tool, and if you have these Cricut tools, you know at the end of it, if you pull the end of it off, there's a little thing there, so if you pull little bits off, you can scrape them off of your weeder. But that's just that. So now I'm going to peel this off. And you can see how the uh, design comes off. And it's really cool because this might look a little bit like there's glitter on it, but there's not. It won't come off when you iron it on. So here we're going to peel the word. And you can see whether... And I always try to pay attention because it might, if it didn't get a full cut, it might not pull something off like you might miss a letter and realize it's still stick stuck on the piece you're pulling off. So I kind of do the little things like that slowly. There we are. That's done. And you can see on this side how it's going to be glittery. Now I need to go along and I need to pick out the parts. You can see that. Yeah. I need to come along and pick out the parts that will not be in the iron-on. So here we are. And this can be a little sticky. Let's see, there you go. This way I can peel it from this side and you can see. This is just fun and I like to do stuff like this, kind of a, a no-brainer. Is that supposed to be the outline? Yes, so see, see what I was talking about, that tree? This little bit didn't get uh, cut right here, so I'm gonna make sure to peel that off there we go that way it's going to stay um, on there so that tree i wanted to make sure this piece needs to come off of there that needs to go down there i'm going to pull the star out and pull the rest of this apart so i'm going to go ahead and weed the rest of this tree and this little design and then I'll be back to you. It looks like I've lost a little piece right there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see if I can find it on the part I pulled off. If not, maybe it's not. Yep, I need to go find a little bit right here that would have connected right there. So as soon as I'm done with that, there's a little piece right there I need to find. And then I'll come back to you and I'll show you the whole thing weeded off. All right, I've got the whole thing picked up. Ooh, looks like I missed the collar. There you go, there we are. So I've got the little design picked out and you can see it from the front and that's how it's gonna be ironed on. It's gonna have that uh, shiny, the, kind of like the glittery, white glittery part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my little, my little Cricut iron on and I'm gonna set this at two. Let me go plug it in. All right, I plugged it in. And now there's uh, the little low, medium, and high here. And this goes to the second line. And um, I'm gonna let it sit there and get hot. It will beep when it's ready to go. And I'll come back to you when that happens. All right, my little uh, easy press turned green and beeped. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna line it up on this little hot pad or this little mitt. There we go, I think that's good. And now I'm just gonna take this and go over it. See, you don't need to have a cover on this because this clear plastic is what you iron right through with this little easy press. And just go over it. And this is a warm peel, so it means you don't have to wait for this to cool before you peel it off. So I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna go through this Probably take me a couple minutes 
because I want to make sure I got every single section done. And they actually have one of these. It's like nine by nine square. I've got that link down in my Amazon store. I like that. That's great for um, t-shirts. If you're making t-shirts, you just put that easy press on there. Nice big square. And this is going to turn out so cute. So I'll make another one with a different design on it. Um, and when I get those done, I'll bring you back and show you. Now I had those cutting boards that I was going to put with these. And I've been trying to do them. Basically what you do is you pull out the letters and then there's a pen that you um, go through. You kind of trace it through like a stencil. And then there's this pen, wait, that pen you trace through with a, like a stencil. Then you take a heat gun and heat it, and it darkens the wood like it's burned. The only problem I'm having, and I'll show you with those little cutting boards, is that they're bamboo, and so it's, it's like pulling the pen up through the grain of the bamboo, so it's not getting a clear image. So I don't know, maybe I'll just have to give a cutting board plain. I don't know. All right. I think that's good. Let me see. Yep. Look at that. Peels right off. Piece of cake. Isn't that super cute? Ready to go. That's just fun. But this is that cutting board. I'll show you. See, I tried to do that and see where it's kind of bleeding through. I don't like that. So it's better. I just don't think it's going to work on the bamboo. But I might just give the board. That's a nice little cutting board. With these, super cute. Actually, that I could put the board in the second the second one when I give two of them. So I will come back to you and I'll show you after I get another one done how I put the whole thing together. All right, I've got my ugly sweater one done now and I went ahead and did another one that just says Merry Christmas. So what I'm gonna do, those little cutting boards, I just love them, they're a cute little cutting board. And I love the fact I didn't even realize that they'll fit in the pocket. So in the second one, I'm gonna put the cutting board. And then in the top one, I'm going to put a package of cookie mix and a two, uh, either a spatula or I've got a whisk. So I'm going to put the spatula in this one and then two little packets of hot chocolate mix. So there you have, and I'll tie a little bow around it and I'll give a little, little uh, tag and I'll give those to my friends that I work with and my neighbors and things like that. So there you have it quick little gift and it's actually i don't know this probably ends up costing less than a dollar but there's one two three four five dollars and probably 50 cents um that's not bad for a quick gift that's kind of fun to make so there you have it if you guys try it if you have any other great ideas on how to use your cricut or how to make just handmade christmas gift crafts let me know i'd love to try them and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video